Well, investigators are trying to figure out a motive behind Saturday's mass shooting right outside of Dallas. A gunman killed eight people and injured seven others at an outlet mall. Fox's Madison Scarpino is live in Alice, Allen, Texas, with what police are saying today. Madison. Caroline Rashi, Texas authorities identified the gunman as Mauricio Garcia from Dallas. A police officer responding to an unrelated call in the area shot and killed the shooter. And today, a memorial is growing outside of the scene as the community here is trying to process what happened. I feel heartbroken and sad because people have been dying because of gun shoots that happened in Texas. But it's disheartening to see this in our community. Um, and I can't tell you how many times my family and I have been here, and it's just a pleasurable place to come. And this is very hard to process. Uh, it's just, you just never think it's going to happen here in our community. The feds are investigating the shooter's possible radical beliefs. He was found wearing a patch linked to white supremacist, and the shooter entered the Army in 2008 but got booted three months later. Medical City Healthcare says they are still treating six survivors. Three are still in critical condition, while two are in fair condition, and another in good condition. Our Fox station in Dallas reports those who died include a 20-year-old security guard at the mall, a 27-year-old engineer, two parents and their three-year-old son and two elementary school sisters. People who live here say they'll never forget the moment they heard about the tragedy. I remember my client said that him and his wife were going shopping, so I immediately texted him and said, are you okay? And then he texted me or he called me back and said, she had went, she's fine. This, this happening here, literally in our backyard, is devastating. And the FBI has been have been taking survivors back to the scene today so that they can retrieve their cars and other belongings. I'll send it back to you guys.